Let's go. What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fail34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Avatar The Last Airbender. This one is season one, episode number 15. How's it going, everybody? So, the last one we checked out was The Fortune Teller, and uh, I liked the skepticism that Sokka brought. I liked the focal point on him, uh, and everybody else not really believing, and some of those action beats towards the end of the episode has escalated there. So, that being said, let's see what's popping today in uh, the world of Avatar. So, as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already yeet uh battle of the water tribe this is a water tribe weapon see if you can find anything else there was a battle mm -hmm. water tribe warriors ambushed a group of firebenders mm -hmm. the fire it was on his detective tip the trail ends here it's one of our boats dad was here true we're after a stowaway there are no stowaways on my ship. Oh, things are moving quick. Toxins will wear off in about an hour, but by then he'll be in jail and I'll have my money. But how did you Trishy find him on bounty my hunter? ship? You got a papa backstory episode? I'm coming with you. You're not old enough to go to war, Sokka. You know that. I'm gonna miss you so much. Who's there? And then the Fire Nation. Sokka? Oh. Bato? It is so good to see you, too. Uncle? Family friend? You? After I was wounded, your father carried me to this abbey. Bato! It looks like home! Everything's here, even the pelts. No way. Stewed sea prunes? What's Dad the kicker? Need a whole barrel of these things. Giant eel. And so, I... who was it that came up with the great blubber fiasco? You and yeah. Dad had so many hilarious adventures. When you weren't around, eh? Which were... <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter, hello? Ryu? I need to talk to you. Well, if it isn't my new friends. I need you to find someone. Your girlfriend run off on you? It's not the girl I'm after. Plus, we'll pay your weight in gold. Make it your weight, and we got a deal. He's a great negotiator. You can come with me and see your father again. I do really miss him. It but would be we got great a mission. to see Dad. Been come on, guys. It's not long. detour too heavy. It would be great, but we can't. We have to take Aang to the North Pole first. Can't believe they would leave me. You left a little too early, fam. It's the map to Sokka and Katara's dad. <gasps> Aang! Not like this. Okay, at least he kept it. This guy's gonna chuck it. I'm like, damn, fam. Look, go petty. The Avatar's been through here. Let's keep moving. I caught you. You should be ashamed of yourself littering in the courtyard. And now the guilt sets in. What's ice dodging? It's a rite of passage for young Water Tribe members. You know what? You're about to find out. Oh, Why nice. Because the girl must Call have back. spent a lot of time here. Ice dodging is a ceremonial test of wisdom, bravery. Saka, you steer and call the shots. Aang, you control the jib. Your position is about trust. Pass or fail on your own. All right, let's go, team. Aang, let's sail. Ugh. Katara, give him room. Uh, uh. There's no way through. Saka, you've already proven yourself. Maybe we should. Aang, I'm gonna need air in that sail now. He's going for it. And for Aang. The mark of the trusted. You are now an honorary member of the Water Tribe. I was afraid you would- This is the map to our father! You had it the whole time? You can go to the North Pole on your own. I'm going to find Dad. I'm with you, Sokka. Okay, you too. Seems a little dramatic, don't you think, guys? I'm an what? idiot, Momo. They're about to get run up on by Wild Mutt! It's been separated from the pack. I understand that pain. We need to go back. I want to see Dad, but helping Aang is where we're needed the most. Father will understand. A group of people came to the Abbey looking for you. Who? And a young man with a scar. Zuko. Aang's probably thinking, yo, this guy don't stop. I thought we were boys. <laughs> oh, sleep. What are we? <laughs> Here come that boy. Let's go, Appa. No fight. Put the stick down, Aang. Okay. He's big, man. Okay, Aang, dummy this guy. He's taking too much time right now. That was fire. That thinks he's with its nose. Let's give him something to look at. 
We're getting you to the North Pole. We've lost too much time as it is. Mm -hmm. I wish I could give you a little piece of home, Katara. Still, oh, wait. Just a little trinket. <laughs> and that was Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode Number 15, y'all. This one was uh, Bato of the Water Tribe here. And Aang acting fairly petty. He was on his bullshit this episode. He missed a part of the conversation. And he sort of lashed out after... Uh, seeing his new family rediscovering their old family here. I think I didn't really love the premise here and how Aang took this episode. I didn't. I, I, I think um, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. That part of this story was probably one of my least favorite things here. It almost felt like Aang was not acting out of character per se, but um, I think... Uh... I just didn't buy into that idea fully that he was comfortable leaving, considering all that they've been through so far, that he want, they won, would consider actually going without having a conversation about going to find their father and throwing in, because they do have a, d a decent amount of time, right? So they don't even know how far he is, and they might be able to iron out the details. I think they should have gave a little bit more, like, kind of back and forth or nuance behind that, even after the fact, after everything goes down. But two, the Aang would storm off and be that upset and just be like, all right, fine, I'm gonna leave them. He just gets the, 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 the map out of nowhere, out of the blue, and then decides to to crumple it and then hold it. It's like, if you're gonna, if you're, I, I, yeah, I was gonna say, if you're gonna commit, toss it. And maybe remember where, like remember the map in detail or something like that, I don't know. You know Aang gets hit all with all these trust bombs and he starts to feel bad and guilty about what happened and then it explodes in his face. They find out and then they decide, we're leaving. Everything that we've done so far, we're not doing it anymore. Sorry, Aang. Goodbye. You've been fired. And they go off and Bato sort of just watches it like, mm, okay, I guess. I didn't love that, that, that general plot, although I did enjoy seeing more cultural elements here and learning about the Water Tribe. Sokka, you know, demonstrating again, yet again, his leadership capabilities, a, uh, being able to uh, work well with his team and come together with some crafty situations and come out on top. And it was also nice to see some scenes with their father. Also, I think the end of this episode did pick up ever so slightly here uh, with the action beat between Aang and Zuko here. Not one of my favorite ones, but it was nice to see them again being creative here with the action beats. Uh, Aang just toying around trying to get the, you know, the the necklace back and uh, them ending it really slick with the, with the rainfall from the well. I thought that looked dope. That was my reaction video to Avatar The Last Airbender. What'd you think about this one? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoy this one, then definitely be sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Some nice little, uh, you know, uh, character, you know, I think there was some nice little, I think there was some nice small, you know, uh, you know, cute moments with our characters here, like, Katara telling Aang, like, oh no, send him a kiss and all that stuff, and Aang wanting to make up for it by giving the trinket. I thought that was kind of sweet. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, that was season one, episode number 15. I will see you all in the next one. Love you, love you.